with Steve Ellis. Steve Ellis is the manager of our EBDO division. He's going to do a walk around of the uh, Clarity product. Thanks, James. So again, welcome everyone. But we're going to do a brief walk around your motor heads, your auto people, so I'm not going to bore you. But what we're going to do is we're going to get under the hood or under the bonnet and the boot, right? And uh, talk a little bit about the technology and just do a brief walk around and then get you back to start your dinner. So let's start here. So let's come around this way. Um, what we have is some active venting for the powertrain, but also really want to feature, this car has these vents here. This, this is a air curtain technology where air comes in the front and it comes out through here and creates a curtain of air that reduces turbulence, obviously, for greater uh, aerodynamic efficiency. These are aerodynamic wheel has a little bit of a, a lower drag right. uh, function. And of course the tires uh, being an eco type tire. Inside, you know, when you drive the car, you'll be the judge, but this is a very large interior. This seat right now is adjusted for my height on 510. And you can see with the center console, really nice pocket there for your smartphones, even an iPad fits and it has two outlets for USB ports, two different power. The left port actually is the one that connects to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Okay. In the back seat, I think what you'll see is there's a lot of room. We strongly encourage you to get in the front, get in the back, feel how roomy this car is. This is a large car, D segment, and the first five passenger fill cell sedan. Oh, as you point out, uh, obviously, in addition to the pockets in the back seat, you have a pocket for your smartphone. Right here. Yeah. So we're passing so this, this thing burns hydrogen, right? This runs on hydrogen. There's no burning, there's no combustion. No. It's a fuel cell, which is a okay. chemical process. But you gotta fuel it with hydrogen. Fuel it with hydrogen. Reformer. Uh, the fuel cell at stack takes the hydrogen and oxygen from the air, makes electricity on demand, and we have a technical presentation that'll talk about okay, that tomorrow. Good. Okay. And the trunk, this is the largest trunk so far of any of our fuel cell vehicles. Uh, we put this in here just to show that you can fit three pair of uh, golf clubs, plus some jackets and other room on the top. It also has a sub trunk, because some people will maybe go to a grocery store and they want to put groceries in the back. and they won't slide back and forth and all over the place. So this is really convenient and handy. <laughs> and of course, the fueling port is right here. Anyone that's ever filled a hydrogen fuel cell car, you know exactly what this is because it's a standard that's globalized around the world. Also, if you've ever filled a compressed natural gas vehicle, you recognize this very similar, but it's a compressed gaseous uh, fuel system. And there's a little gray device here that's an infrared receiver. So today the fuel cell vehicles actually communicate with the station to optimize the fill, making sure that every time a person fills the car, the range is gonna be consistent. These are advances that have been made, not only in the vehicles, but also in the refueling infrastructure. And then just kind of finishing up the walk around here, um, you can see the front, uh, it's a power adjustable driver's seat and power adjustable passenger seat. 
And again, you're going to find the steering wheel interface very much like Hondas that you're used to, but also the latest uh, features and technology and the interior materials, I think you'll find very elegant. Ultra suede and uh, bio uh, material, the f uh, fabric is uh, bio material. Also want to point out, I mentioned the front uh, air curtains. The rear air curtains, there's an inlet right here in the rear door. So built into the rear door is an air curtain and it exits right here and does the same thing. So the rear wheel, like the air curtain does. Again, it's pretty aerodynamic for greater vehicle efficiency. Okay? Cool. Yeah.